In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four 3D arrow infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will the arrow comes out from the floor. It will give you the number and the title, then the second arrow, the third, and the fourth arrow. And likewise, I created some more where you can just give kind of this effect also. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill. Go to insert shapes and from block arrows, select the arrow which is arrow up. Draw the arrow this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline. Right mouse click, go to format shape go to effects click on 3d rotation under presets i'm going to select which is isometric right up so it turns something like this then go to 3d format and increase the depth maybe this much and if you'd like to change the lighting effect, you can change it whichever way you like. Let me just increase the size of this arrow. Select the arrow and just increase the size. Maybe this much size is okay. And then you can go to gradient fill and give some uh, different uh, gradient colors. So type, I'm going to select a linear here and this two stops, the first stop, I'm going to give some dark colors or gray color and here somewhat light color or you can choose your own colors there then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and go to effects under 3d rotation i'm going to select this one which is isometric top up it comes something like this go to shadow and give some shadow effect maybe this one and increase the distance and change the color to some dark colors something like this and let me just zoom it bring it here exactly I'm just going to increase the size and send to back. So you can see here that arrow has come, is coming out from that kind of a hole. It gives that kind of a feeling. So you can see here. Now I'm just going to select all and press Control D to duplicate and put this here. Let me just move it. I'm going to select all. Let me just move it here. And this one, I'm going to increase the size. And make sure that you align it properly. Let me just reduce a little bit. And then I'm going to select these two or you can select click here and then hold the control key and click there so both these shapes got selected press control d put it here for the third one and increase the size and then i'm going to select the last time and control d to duplicate this is the fourth one and increase the size Control A to select all and place it at the right position. And then you can just go and change the color as per your requirement. So like, like this you can just change the color. So you can see here. And this one, I'm just going to give some different color. 
so with this uh, the design part is completed I'm going to add some text to it now let me add the numbers here go to insert text box I'm going to type 01 make it center aligned change the font as per your requirement increase the size make it white color and bring it here so it this doesn't look good so there are two options here when I go to the format shape options and text options so we are talking about the text options. so let's click on the text options go to effects and here I'm going to select the same 3d rotation and presets I'm going to select this one which is uh, the same isometric right up so you can see here if you want to give some shadow effect also you can just give like that but it's up to you so control D control D and control D so just align it properly so then this will be two this is three and this is four now let me just add some text here add your detail text here again center align change the font reduce the size if required go to text options effects and 3d rota rotation i'm going to select this one isometric top up so it becomes something like this let me just reduce a little bit yeah so you can see here control d control d and the last control d and make sure that it is all aligned properly so our design is ready uh, it's time to do some small animation to it so before adding the animation if you feel this arrow head is small i can just select this arrow and can you see here there are two small orange uh, points so i'm just going to select the orange point which is on top and i can just drag it so that automatically the arrow head has increased you can see here So this looks more good and again let me just arrange the numbers here so you can see here it looks entirely different now just with the change of arrow header so let's do the animation first of all go to animation tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first the small uh, the rectangle let me just move aside for a time being i'm going to select the rectangle and use the wipe effect you can say from top and then this arrow should come i'm going to group this with the number select both of the object and control G to group it so let me just group select this one and the number control G and control G right now again I'm going to use the same wipe effect you can see it comes from the bottom you can say with previous a uh, delay of 0.25 seconds and then the text should come the text again you can give the wipe effect and this should happen with previous let me just put it here if I play it comes something like this so likewise we can just do the same activity for the other so I'm just going to select this one animation painter click on this then select this click on this and then select this click on this text and place the text at the right position so if I play and you can do it the rest
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye